Madeline Stevenson here for City Life TV, and we are at Holt Renfrew's flagship store on Bloor Street for an extremely important event aimed at bringing peace to the Congo. Now, the campaign is called Falling Whistles, and we're about to find out how we can all become whistleblowers for peace. Why don't you tell me a little bit about what inspired this whole thing, Falling Whistles? I originally went to South Africa with Tom Shoes and from there just wanted to get lost. Like really just wanted to get completely out of Dodge and see something new and hear new sounds and ended up backpacking throughout Africa for three months. And at the end of it, we ended up in Democratic Republic of Congo. On the fifth day, we found a military encampment that was beating former child soldiers. It was treating them as enemies of the state. And so we freaked out. I mean, we're just calling everybody we know. You gotta get these kids pulled out. You gotta get these kids pulled out. And no one returned our phone calls, because who are we? We're like 26 year olds. We don't have influence, we don't have connections. So because of that, we spent the next eight hours just swapping stories with these boys. Um, and it's like, you know, uh, we lived very different lives. I grew up in California. Right, was traveling the continent because I wanted to. They were taking an aid at 10 forced to kill, at 12 they're being beaten. But as, they should, as you're sitting there sharing stories, it's like, we feel hunger the same way, right? I mean, we feel thirst the same way. Uh, we laugh at the same jokes, although there's like a 30 second delay because of the translator. Um, and those boys told us that the kids who were too small to carry a gun were being sent to the front lines armed with only a whistle. They were being sent out as human shields. The idea is that they would go out and blow the whistle at night to scare away the enemy and then failing that they were supposed to receive the bullets with their bodies and in falling create a blockade for other soldiers to hide behind. Pretty intense. I mean, it was a heavy day. We ended up exposing it to the UN. The kids got pulled out. The encampment ultimately got shut down. I went home that night and just like falling through tears and screaming at the moon, wrote this blog called Falling Whistles. Sent it out to like 80 friends and family. It was my mom, my dad, my grandma, and they forwarded it around the world. Woke up the next day with hundreds and then eventually thousands of messages in my inbox just saying, what do we do? How do we help? Why is this happening? And it was like, <laughs> I have no idea. I'm 26. We just got here. And so we decided to figure it out. We've really been trying to answer those questions ever since. Can you maybe go in, in a bit of depth in, in regards to the severity of the situation in the Congo? I mean, almost five and a half million people have died, war-related causes. For people who don't know about this, what can you tell us? And you're dealing with the deadliest war of our time. Um, Christoph recently put the number at 6.9 million. You're dealing with about 1,500 people dying every day and about 1,200 women being raped every month. Um, that's like 70% of the world's rapes. So, so this is a problem of massive, massive proportions. It's largely funded by what's called the illicit trading of minerals. And the minerals end up in our electronic products. So our cell phones, our computers, this is what's sort of funding and fueling the war. And so in the short term, we're going to work with local leaders to rehabilitate children and then eventually women. And in the long term, it's about creating this global coalition of whistleblowers um, to demand conflict-free electronics. Tell me a bit about this, this whistle here. <laughs> Well, basically, I mean, I got home from Congo and I was just totally dysfunctional. I mean, I'm just screaming at people like, kids are dying, kids are dying, this is happening, it's real. Eventually, people just stop inviting you back to wherever you are, right? It's sort of like people can't handle that intensity. And so one night, I was sleeping on my buddy's couch, surviving off ramen, and he came to me one night with a special gift that he got off eBay. It was an old vintage whistle. He put it around my neck and he said, no matter where you go, keep those boys alive in your heart. Keep them at the forefront of this fight. and. You know, all of a sudden I could go to these parties and not have to yell at people because everywhere we'd go people would just ask, what's the whistle? And we got to speak up for the boys in a way that made sense. Right now the Falling Whistles campaign is working alongside Congolese community leaders to help rehabilitate war-affected children. To find out how you can help, you can go to fallingwhistles.com. For City Life TV, I'm Madeline Stevenson. This is Sean Carrasso with Falling Whistles. You're watching City Life TV. Be a whistleblower for peace.